Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us for the second half hour of 11 News at 4. I'm Adam Atchison. And I'm Lindsay Boach. A retired United States Air Force Colonel is sharing his story about Operation Eagle Claw. He spoke at a Southern Colorado Aircraft Museum yesterday. That historic mission happened during the, during the Iranian hostage crisis in 1980. 11 News reporter Michelle Wells is live from outside the Pueblo Weisbrod Aircraft Museum. You spoke with Colonel Samita about what his experience during that mission looked like. Lindsay, the Iranian hostage crisis developed after a group of Iranian college students took over the U.S. Embassy and taking American diplomats and citizens hostage during a standoff which lasted for more than a year. Operation Eagle Claw was a rescue mission that aimed to rescue more than 50 people being held in the capital city of Iran. But sadly, that mission ultimately failed. Well, unfortunately, what stands out is we failed to complete the mission. And it's been um, uh, a sad point for me. Then Captain Michael Samita was on the crew of one of the C-130 planes that flew in the mission. The fleet of helicopters encountered multiple issues and only five of the original eight sent in arrived at the first staging area. As the crew of the remaining helicopters withdrew under orders to abort, a tragedy unfolded as two aircraft collided eight service members died. Colonel Samita discussed some of the lesser known details of the ill-fated operation and the lessons learned that he would carry through the rest of his military career. Uh, I learned a thing about trust. So from then on, whenever I was tasked to do anything, uh, I had my eyes more open. What is going on? Does this make sense? And if something didn't make sense, speak up even if you're the lowest person on the organization chart. The 44th anniversary in memoriam of the Iranian hostage rescue mission is coming up on April 24th and April 25th. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle Wells, KKTV 11 News. All right, Michelle, thank you. It's time for No Way Weather. Let's get a check from meteorologist Luke Victor.